Hey guys, my name is Artyom and today we're going to take a look at the Soccer 7v7 Formation 3-1-2. This formation consists of three defensive players, one, two, three, one midfielder and two strikers. Three defensive players provide you with very balanced defense in terms of uh, taking over of the right space, middle space and uh, left section of the pitch, right? You basically are defending in th all three corridors. You have pretty good and again balanced attack because you have two strikers and you have one player in the middle whose main job is to connect two lines, defensive line and offensive line. What do I mean by that is that, for example, if the ball in defense his job is to get back and try to help this player with the ball out. So he basically takes the ball, passes it for, another, for example to another flank, then he breaks forward for example, pass back, then he goes back again, again he helps out and then he takes a look forward if there is an opportunity he passes there if there is no opportunity then he passes back for example and again attacks the space right and his main job is to help these players to get out of defense get out of uh, the pressure so passing forward is not his like main responsibility yes he can probably uh, if he sees an opportunity there he can pass the ball but it should be safe the most important thing for him is to try and get those guys on a flank, for example, with the help here, he makes uh, uh, an numeric advantage for his team in our half of the pitch. And this helps us out to get out to, of defense. And for example, in here, pass goes there, and then we can continue into a, an attacking half of the pitch. When the ball is transferred to that other half of the pitch, this player should help out there in offense, but remember that he's, it's not his, again, main job, because uh, usually in this kind of formation, one of the flanks will join the attack, and this guy will provide the support. These two guys provide coverage at the back, if there is, for example, uh, an interception and a counter-attack, the team, opponent's team is breaking. So these guys, we have uh, them in two halves here, and uh, uh, they provide a pretty good covering. And again, this player is uh, to provide uh, help for those guys up front. For example, if there's no way to go there at some point, then he can provide an opportunity here for a pass pass it back for example and this way he again helps his um, attacking players to attack so this formation is for those teams who first of all have this kind of player here who is a good passer uh, he can uh, see uh, the pitch right he can uh, read the game well he can communicate with partners he can open open up for a pass he can actually provide a good pass because the, his responsibility is pretty big. I, I'd say he's uh, the main person in this kind of formation because, for example, if here the ball gets intercepted, your players will get in a big trouble. So that's why this player has to be pretty sophisticated football-wise and uh, has to be able to cover the ball with his body if it's, if it's uh, necessary. He is an actual playmaker in this kind of formation. I'd say that you can play this formation if you don't have all three good defenders. You can probably cope with average level of defense here because again you are covering all three zones. But you have to have good strikers there up front. There are two ways to pick players for this formation. Uh, and, uh, and the reference point is your opponent the tactic he is using. If you know that you're gonna have an upper hand in a game, you're gonna be playing against a weaker team, you're gonna be have, having a possession of the ball, and you're gonna be attacking more than defending, then it's, it would be wise 
to get those guys up front, the, the best play, players up front. So they can actually seize an opportunity there and score the goal if the opportunity presents itself. If you have like one or two weak players uh, weaker than other guys, then in case if you are playing against a team that is weaker, put those weaker guys in defense and put them on flanks. Because in here you have to have a very uh, good defender who can cover all that space, uh, who reads the game again, who can uh, take his positioning accordingly uh, according to the ball for example if the ball is on the left so he knows that he has to drop a little bit to the left if the ball is on the right then he even if it's far away then he drops a little bit to the right yes there is a, a risk that those guys here will lose uh, their opposing players in a counter-attack for example but that's why you have this guy to cover this is a minimum risk this is where I would put those two weakest players of this group of seven players. If you know you have to get a result and you have to defend well, if this is your objective, then you put your players, weakest players up front. If you are risking, even in this game where you, have, you are playing against a better opponent, but if you are willing to take risks, okay, you can take risks, then maybe put uh, stronger guys up front. But this is up to you, of course, you are the coach. Those players up front, again, when they are defending in this formation, they have to know how to cover spaces. For example, if the ball is on the right side here, one player should be on the ball, and those guys, those other guys, they have to be defending in two of the three corridors. You have uh, always on the pitch right corridor, central corridor, and left corridor. So uh, the point of reference is the ball. If the ball is on the right, you have to defend in right corridor and a central corridor. So you leave the left corridor out. You don't have any players there. So that's why those guys should read the game pretty well and drop back into the middle in this kind of situation in order to provide good balanced defense. That guy also drops back here. And in this case, for example, if the ball is on the right, this defender can go a little bit further. And this one just covers the far post, the, the player, even if this player is here, don't go there, don't go there, because you won't see him, he's gonna be behind your back. Just stay here in the central corridor until the ball arrives to him. While the ball is going, you're going out, so you're gonna have time. So these players up front have to use their brain, have to understand the game, and uh, if the ball, for example, is on the, in the center like this, then you provide you're standing approximately like this so you have this formation 3-1-2 again in a standard way when opponents got the ball here for example into attacking space into your defensive areas what do those guys do first of all this one the central midfielder he should help out and put pressure on those players around the ball and those guys this is very important if the ball is on the left side this one drops back into the middle and this one uh, covers plus defender if this defender is for example decided to go there and leave the space you can just drop here you don't have to follow him drop here again and remember about those two corridors leave the right corridor out this way you're gonna have an opportunity to counter attack if you are for example breaking if you intercept the ball those guys up front they have to run wide, try to run wide. For example, if there is an opportunity to pass like this, for example, to pass the ball to that guy, of course, you can pass the ball to him, right? He can receive it here, but that other guy has to provide width for this player. So there is an open space. And in this case, in this case, either the left defender has to sprint there and help those guys out they, these guys provide cover this one provides cover here or for example this this can be a, a midfielder if he sees an opportunity if he knows that uh, he can do it he can for, for example he was very near to that player so he can run there if this player is far away there's no point of waiting for him go there go provide cover here and again cover at the back so the most important here in this formation is this guy. He is, we can 
put him as a red guy because he is the main person in this formation. Uh, you have to find the right player for this spot. If you don't have this kind of playmaker who passes the ball, who reads the game, who can give a good pass, who can receive the ball, who can cover the ball with his body, uh, who can support uh, both defense and attack, then this formation is not for you. If you have any further questions about this formation, please ask them in the commentary section. Tell me in the commentary section what formation does your team play. Don't forget to grab the subscription bonus, uh, it's in the description of the video, you're gonna find the link. Uh, all you have to do is to subscribe to my channel, go to that link and get your gift. I upload new videos every week, so I suggest you to subscribe. My subscribers have an opportunity to watch more videos than those guys who are not subscribed. If you like this video, share this on social networks. I really appreciate that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Get the zone to cover up the stairs or find the players and so on. Another These principle is that you have to defend stay down in two have to corridors back, out of three. And your reference point will always be a ball. You have to understand you know. that the so game